Welcome to a tutorial video on Twain 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about modifiers as part of the chapbook story format. Chapbook is one of a number of different built-in story formats in Twine 2. When viewing a story and its passages, story formats can be changed by going to the story menu, change story format, and selecting from the story formats available. In this video, I'll be using chapbook. As of the current version, as of this recording, it's 1.0.0. So modifiers in Chatbook are a way to modify things, as its name implies. They allow us to change how a passage will be viewed, change its text content, and basically just modify things. Notice modifiers are in open and closing square brackets. The first of which is align, and then where to align? Center. So this is a modifier in open and closing square brackets. What am I doing? I'm aligning, first keyword. What am I doing? Aligning center. Then at the end of that usage of a modifier is continued. This closes out what that modifier modifies. So align center, what should be aligned to center? The text, this is center. I have a second use of a modifier called after. After shows whatever is within its section after some amount of time. I said five seconds. Notice I'm using C-O-N-T, an abbreviated form of continued. Chatbook supports both continued, the full word, and C-O-N-T, the abbreviated version. So this is one use of a modifier, and this is a second use of a modifier. Whatever the first modifier is with an open and closing square brackets, and then either C-O-N-T or the word continued, spelled out, as a second use of open and closing square brackets, marking the entire section that that modifier modifies. So we see here this is a modifier and this is a modifier. Let's see those in practice. If I come down to test, we see it's center. Then if we wait a few seconds, we see five seconds have passed. They showed up in the exact order that they appeared. The first modifier was here the second modifier was here, and then there was a link at the bottom. So they showed up when run in the exact order that they were within the passage when written. So again, open and closing square brackets, defining what modifier, any options to it, in this case, align center, which should be aligned, anything that appears between the first line of the modifier and the use of C-O-N-T or the spelled out continued, also in open and closing square brackets. Everything within that will be modified by this modifier. So we see a line is an example of that. We also see after, which shows us after some amount of time that we set, what to show, what to modify. In this case, after five seconds, show us the text, five seconds have passed. Finally, we have an example of a link here down at the bottom. Now I've also included in this first passage, a VARS section. Again, as a review, if you've not seen it before, a VAR section is a section within any passage that starts at the top and ends with two hyphens or two minus signs, however you want to think about them, defines the variable, and then defines the variable's value. So its name and then its value. In this case, I've set up example. Now, the reason I've done this is because I want to move into looking at conditional modifiers next. But I cannot set up a value and then also use the value in the same passage. So because I want to use a variable here or use a variable in conditional modifiers, I need to set that variable in a previous passage or a previous part of the story before I want to start using it in another passage. So a line is one example, after is another example. Moving over to conditional modifiers, they work as their name might imply. They are conditionally modifying something, but they're still modifiers. So notice I have an if right here, also in open and closing square brackets. What to check, 
if something, if example is greater than 8, do this. If it isn't, don't do anything, right? So this first, right, first check using if, which is a modifier, check a variable, something, if example is greater than 8, show me this text. If it is not, don't do anything. Notice it ends again with continued open and closing square brackets around this whole section, what it's modifying, defined within, with a modifier. So I can also chain these together. I can combine modifiers in a con continued action so they do different things. In this case, I've combined three different modifiers all together here. The first of which says to wait five seconds, so after five seconds. Then it checks to see if example is greater than eight. Then it appends. So one after another after another using a semicolon to separate them, but combining the modifiers together with an open and closing square brackets. After five seconds, if example is greater than eight, finally append what should be appended, anything between the opening modifier and the closing continued or CNNT abbreviation. So this is a modifier and this is a modifier and what they modify is between whatever it is in the opening closing square brackets and then the closing opening square brackets of continued or CNNT as an abbreviated form. So let's look at this one in practice. Testing it. This is center, which we expect to see using the align modifier. After five seconds, we see the after modifier. Then let's follow the link. We see examples greater than eight. Then after five seconds, after five seconds, if examples greater than eight, append all put together using semicolons, combining conditional modifiers, which are still modifiers, all in a row together. So this has been a video on modifiers within Chatbook. The documentation within Chatbook has greater details and I highly recommend checking it out. But these have been looking at align, which is a modifier, after, which is a modifier, when to show it modifies a text somehow, then we looked at conditional modifiers, looking at example, and then looked at how I could combine them all together by putting semicolons between them. So in this case, wait five seconds, check to see if example is greater than eight, then append this text. These can be combined together using a semicolon, but they're all modifiers, and they define when they start, the open and closing square brackets, until they run into open and closing square brackets of C-O-N-T for the abbreviated form or continued written out. The section that they modify and what the modifier is of what action it should be taken to modify that text. Thanks for watching.